Hello, this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies, and today I would like to um, address a few things in Fusion, and that being um, bodies, components, and assemblies, and how they relate to one another. Uh, coming from an inventor background, when I got into Fusion uh, a year or so ago, I, it was, at least to me, a very confusing concept. Um, I wasn't sure how um, how they related to one another, what, what what was a body and when it became a component and what the difference between the two were. So um, my goal today is hope to clarify a little bit of the differences between a body and a component and, and even an assembly. So in my file I'm looking uh, at a blank um, a blank part here and you can see I have a part up here with has a square box in it which is a symbol for a component. And um, let's get into building a couple parts. I just want to build a few parts, uh, bring them in. I'm going to bring them in as bodies and show you how they are converted to a component and how the relationship uh, forms. So um, bear with me. I'm just going to uh, make a, a pin and a bracket and uh, see how they um, see how they relate to the component. So bear with me a moment. Um, I'll go back in, I'll turn that sketch on and extrude a few more shapes here. put a negative on that and be sure to come over here and I do not want to cut I want to join that into a part and we'll say okay I'll turn my sketch off and I'm gonna let me dress this up a little bit shouldn't take too long Okay, I have a pin, and you know, I'm even going to put some threads on this. I do not want it full thread. There we go, three quarter, looks good. And you know what, I'm going to edit that. I'm going to model it. Make it look nice. Yes, looks nice. Okay, so um, what I did is I, comp I comp uh, created a body. So if you look over here now, um, it created a folder and it placed my body inside of it. So um, let's do, I'm going to create another body. I'm going to create a sketch. I'll put it on that face and uh, let me do a little bit of layout here. So bear with me a moment. Make that a construction line and I'll take the midpoint of that line. There we go. And I'm going to place a couple circles on it here. clearance hole and uh, let me make a three inch hole or three inch Oops. three inch <laughs> 
And one last one, I will make uh, one, uh, what I think, 1.06, I guess that's good enough for clearance. All right. Should be in there. Okay. Let me place a couple lines on this uh, to connect everything. And I'll trim out a couple of these lines because probably really not needed. Let's get rid of this, this. All right. And this is just a dimension line. That should do it. I'll stop the sketch. Uh, let me turn my first body visibility off just so I can see a little bit better. And I'm going to extrude this shape And let me drag it out. And I do not want a new body. So if I go to this pull down, you're going to see that um, I do want a new body. I'm sorry. But I do have the option for a new component. Um, I'm not going to address this right now. Um, I would like to. I could certainly make a new component, and that's one of the goals that we're going to right now. But I want to, I want to back into this and show you that uh, I'm going to create a new body, and um, so let me just make this three inches. I'll turn my other component on. So now I have uh, two bodies, and let me um, let me change a few things here. Let me. Um, let me change the appearance. Uh, what do I got here? Um, let me, uh, body one, I'm going to make that blue and I'll make this one red. There we go. So just a little bit easier to see things. Uh, I've got two bodies. And let me name these for you. Keep things a little clear. And I'll name this one a bracket. Excellent. So I've got two parts. And you can see that if I click and try to drag these, uh, they're anchored in position because they were built in... Um, relationship to one another. So what I want to do, uh, and if I actually brought these into a drawing now, um, it would just have my top level component here, just this, and it would be one line just with the properties of whatever this, uh, whatever I decide to name this. And it's uh, it's not what I want. I want. I want to be able to get line items here, and uh, bodies do not work that way in a drawing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to promote these. I'm going to select them and I'm going to create components from bodies. So what it's done now is if you can see that the icon, the bodies folders disappear because there's no more bodies, my parts have turned into components. My bodies have turned into components and my overall file, my overall component has turned into you see this um, icon up here is for an assembly. So basically what I've done is I've changed my bodies into parts and my parts now form an assembly. And you can see now I can move these parts. So what I want to do is I want to constrain and we don't um, 
when you use constraints so much in here what we do is we create joints and that and the type of joint we select ends up um, constraining this in a particular manner so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bolt and I'm going to as an as built joint I'm just going to select my bolt and constrain it to my file with a rigid type of joint so now this will not move anywhere however my my bracket is still able to move so what I need to do is constrain my bracket to my pin so I'm going to come up and I'm going to create a joint and I'll capture position and what I want is I don't want a rigid joint I want to make this revolve around this pin and I have several types of joints that allow me to do um, different types of constraining for this one I am going to choose a revolute and I am just going to come over and I am going to select the center of that hole and I want it to the center of this pin and it animates a little bit to give you an idea of how this is going to um, was how this joint is going to operate so you can see that I can animate it and I'm going to say OK so now I have a part a component two components that now are in relationship to one another you saw that when I did the other one I can I can put a sketch right on here I'm going to create a washer on here but I'm going to do this in a different manner um, I'm going to right click on my top level component and I'm going to say a new component so what it's done is it's um, it's created a new component I'm going to place a sketch on that face and I'm just going to turn that bracket off and I'm going to place a circle and I'll make this oh, point seven seven, and I'll make another circle one point two five. I'll stop the sketch. I'm going to extrude that point uh, one two five. So now, uh, yes, it's going to be a new body because I have created it it's within a new component so what I have here is just fine um, I'm going to say OK and I can click on this and just say well I'm going to name this washer and I'm going to turn my other parts back on and reactivate my top level so now I have um, a new component in relationship to the other but like the others it is not um, constrained really in any manner so what I need to do is I, well there's another thing I can do I can just um, put it back and there's an as built joint since I built this in place in a location that I want it I can do an as built joint that will constrain this and I'm going to make it a rigid constraint to I'll just say my pin there we go now my washer is constrained to my pin I can turn my joints the visibility of my joints off and now this operates in the manner that I want it in a drawing now this would show up as three separate parts because these are individual components and you can see there are no bodies involved in this right now so to draw a point-to-point -point connection that is really kind of sloppy but um, bodies to me um, kind of relate closely to an inventor feature um, these components are more in line with parts and the overall component is more or less my assembly 
even though this is still only one file with multiple components inside of it uh, this still acts similar to a, an assembly so in a way I hope um, that helps a bit now the, the confusing part is maybe I tried to create this in a number of different ways I created bodies converted them to components and then I went in and created a new component um, in place uh, like I said there's there's multiple ways to create components and bodies um, I just wanted to show you uh, a couple different ways and maybe how these now relate to one another so inside of each of my components I have my folder with the body inside the component and the components are inside the assembly so I hope that wasn't too confusing I hope it shed a little bit of light on um, on this process of uh, building uh, fusion parts and um, hope that makes your life a little bit easier thanks again for joining me again this is Dave Briner um, till later have a great day